Yes. So now we have in the reports, uh, we are reports, data model is here. And this is our report. Uh, moment when we place the cursor, we can find the report here. I would like to schedule this report and I would like to send this output as an email. Then how we can do the scheduling as well as uh, how we can go for send this output as an email. So here we can do it. So go to more option. There's a schedule option here like this. Select a report and schedule option from the menu. System will pick your report wherever this report is saved. From there, it picks the report ID. If there are any input parameters, of course, it will ask us. These are the input parameters. Then we have to pass the input. And uh, there is a tab called output. So you want the output in uh, which layout? There are two layouts, right? For this report. Which layout you would like to have? So we can choose the layout here. Which format do you want to have? It's a PDF. Which language? Okay. And you want the output destination. You want the output as an email or uh, FTP, or you would like to go for, uh, or you would like to go for save this file in our uh, server, Canadian server. You can download that, or you can pick that file later by using OACS or some other integration tools. Let's say right now I wanted to send this output as an email. Let's add the destination email ID here. I'm just trying to add. Uh, fine. Let me add this mail. And we wanted to write some messages. Oracle Cloud ERP BI report. Oracle Cloud report. Okay, so now got oh, this options here. Let me go back to the tabs. There is a tab here, schedule. So we can schedule this report oh, for future daily, or we can do it from one time. It's going to be specified, or we can also make it as weekly, or we can do it monthly. We can specify special dates also uh, depends on the requirement we can do that here okay so i'm just running the report i don't want to schedule it so i want to run it now and we if required any notification here we can do that here once the report is completed i want a notification email or if report is failed or uh, report completed with warning just wanted to send the email to the support team. Uh, these all details will be specified here. These all details will be specified. And we can also find the diagnostic thing, but uh, in case if the report is taking long time, I wanted to see what is happening in the query execution. What is the flow of execution part? Uh, there is a explain plan that we can use uh, to go for it. By using this explain plan, we can go for analyze the query execution and then go for take the decisions and uh, tune the query according to the requirements. So let me submit this. We can give any job name. We have scheduled this. The job has been posted successfully. Of course, in schedules, I have selected once and immediately the program will be executed. It is written button. Now go back to our report again, history. Now system is showing that success. The report has executed successfully and email also has sent successfully. You can cross check whether you received your email or not.
but you can see that we got output here. This is the message we have specified and workflow has sent email and we said PDF, right? Format and we got the output. So whatever the output we have got there and the same thing we can see that here. This is the output which we got it. Okay, so this is uh, how we can go for uh, schedule the report and send the output as an email and see the history of the report execution and passing input parameters, save the output files in the server or send this output that we can find the history. Okay, yeah. Thank you. This this comes as a uh, scheduling. Once we develop the BI report by defining the data model and then having that complete. In our previous videos, we discussed uh, about this. Okay. Once we do this. We wanted to register this report, or we call it as a deployment. We wanted to register this report as a ESS job, because uh, uh, this environment uh, we will not be using here. This is a BI report development environment. I can't give the access this to my client. If I give the permission, he may open the report and make some changes. So I don't want to do that. So I just want to register this as a scheduled process so that employees will log in front end. And uh, obviously they'll go to tools menu and uh, the process from here. So that's that's what we wanted to provide for the client. That's we call it as ESS job uh, registration. We call it as ESS job registration. Very simple, not much complex. In the interviews, also they'll be asking us, like, can you tell me how will you register the BI report? Or do you know how to register ESS jobs? Or how will you configure ESS job? It's very simple. Now we have a report, right? And make sure that uh, you have the permission to view the report details, nothing but report path and other information. So once you are clear with this, so what you can do is let's go back to your, uh, they'll ask you the navigation. We have to say that we'll go to navigator, sorry, user menu, setup and maintenance, nothing but we'll go to FSM environment, functional setup manager. Let's come back to the global search here. Go to global search here. And search for the task here. Yes, uh, schedule. Click search button. find the task names here, ESS uh, job definition for uh, CRM, for financials and supply chain management, and this is for human capital management. Right now we are doing this report. It's basically no ice report. Of course, if you register anywhere, it's not a problem. It will allow us to do register, but it's a basic uh, uh, thing when we are building some hundreds, thousands of reports in the project. It's better to register those reports on a particular domain, finance domain, supply, or HCM, or CRM, like that. Now, this is invoice report, right? but we are trying to deploy this in invoice. It comes under financials. Let's go to financials. Internally, the task name is same. No difference here. Now we are trying to choose this uh, job definitions here. Here we'll specify what is the name you would like to have, supplier invoice, an internal name we can have in any name. Path. Path is important. We have to specify this. Or we don't need to use this word shared. Shared is not required. After that, we have to copy. After this shared, we have to copy. And we have to specify after completion of this path, a backslash that's required. That is mandatory. Which application you are registering? It's for financials. Oh. 
tables module. Even if we choose any other application also, it will work. But when we are building the report, obviously we should know for which module we are developing and that we have to choose corresponding. And any description is required, we can specify supplier invoice details. And job application name, this is uh, related for financials, right? Financial supply chain management, select this. Yes, CM ESS. This stands for enterprise scheduler. Enterprise scheduler. And what type of uh, job you are registering? Is it a parallel script? Or is it SQL loader? Or AP, a publisher? Or parallel SQL? SQL plus? Or any other language? Java or C language? Or Linux self script? Host. So right now we are working with BI publisher. Choose this BI type. And report ID is nothing but exact the path of your report. So we need to combine this part, including the report name, with the extension called .xdo. These all three things we have to combine. That we can do manually, or we can just go for uh, schedule this report. When we try to schedule this report, it takes automatically report ID here. Just copy here. Double click, copy from here, and specify. You can just give the path name. See that the path next name of the report dot xdo XML data definition. So that's fine. Any input parameters are there. You can register for this report ESS job. And if you have any list of values, you can do it. If you are trying to run multiple programs, you can do that here. Job sets is basically group of jobs you want to run. Let's say I want to run supplier invoice. After that, I want to run the payment report immediately. Then you can go with the job sets. You know, it's a single process we are registering. So that's why we are going with the job definitions here. And what is the display name? RTL supplier name, we specified display name. It takes a couple of minutes, not more than that time. So once we build the BI report, two ways we can run this report. One is uh, in the developer environment. Here itself, we can go for uh, schedule the report and uh, execute. Another one is we have to make like this as a ESS job. Once you make this as ESS job, of course, you can go for uh, uh, restrict this uh, output. Yeah. Now the job has been submitted successfully. In future, you want to modify this, of course, you can do it from here itself. Now I wanted to run this report from the tools menu schedule process. Go to navigator. Make sure that you have an employee role. If you have employee role, then you can run this uh, report. Otherwise, you, can, you cannot uh, access this option. Employee role is required. Sometimes find tools menu but you don't find scheduled process the reason is very simple you don't have the access to the role called employee role go to tools menu schedule process select schedule new process and select this program name whatever we have registered select program and we specified this is our report name and description. Here. It's one of the important question in the interview point of view. When we are working in the cloud ERP, I would like to schedule the report. Where are the places we can schedule it? There are two places we can schedule. One is uh, in BI report environment. Oh. Here itself, we can schedule this report by selecting this tab, schedule tab, and we can select this. 
This is when we are working from BA environment. We can schedule. So if they ask you, oh, how will you schedule the BI report? We can schedule the report in two ways. If at all we are submitting from BI report environment, so when we click the schedule option, we'll get a schedule tab. There we can schedule. That is one option. Another one is if we are trying to run this report as a process from the tools menu, the moment when we choose schedule process here, there is a button here, advanced. Click this advanced button. Moment when we click this advanced button, then it will show us the schedule. Otherwise, it will not be populated. The tab comes into the picture only when we click this button. Advanced. So here we have the facility to select the, the report schedule option you wanted to go, or you want to go for run this report as soon as possible. And this is the frequency which we have. We wanted to have the output uh, in which format you can choose uh, the layout. In case if your report is having multi layouts, then it will show that there are two layouts. Uh, you wanted to have the output in each layout, right? So it will show, of course, two layouts here. And we can also specify the destination. You want us to have an email or a printer, or we can specify the email ID also. We can specify the your email ID. So this is about. Uh, the scheduling of the report and also select the output layout and uh, format. In case uh, if you have multi layouts, of course, you can choose another layout. Another option I'm trying to change here. Let's say this is for article in the report. This time the layout I wanted to go for standard. This I wanted to go with PDF as an email. Uh, this time email ID I wanted to change. Change. Yeah. So like this, we can send the output the different destinations. Uh, if you have multi-layout, we can choose multi-layout option, multi-format option. And of course, notification tab is there. In case of report is uh, failure or error, we can specify the user ID or email address to the recipient, and we can specify the condition also. It's very common requirement when some of the reports are scheduled in the cloud environment or any 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 software it's required. In case if the report is errored out, we wanted to intimate to the support team or DBA team or IT admin team or some software development team so that we can discuss. So let's go for submit this here. Yeah. And you got the ID here, that's for searching purpose. In case if you have multiple and you might have submitted earlier, you wanted to search now, you can search based on some input parameters, input values here. And now this is what we put. Make sure that you got succeeded uh, status, then you can verify the output. Yes, you got this output here. This is for article online trainings, Gmail ID. That's PDF. Of course, we have sent an email to this also. But still, we are not received. Yeah. 
it's fine like this as some name you can put it. and this is uh, okay here i can see that this sky has received actually it's the sexes not just and this is delivery status about this. so this is how we can uh, register or uh, uh, be reported as uh, ess job this library report will be registered as ess job and it has to be executed from tools menu scheduled process that's how it works okay thank you yes any doubts here Fine. Let's see you tomorrow. Sorry, not tomorrow, on Monday uh, in our regular schedules. Continuation with our uh, regular options. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir.